My beloved St. Jude the Deans, how are you this day? My beloved St. Jude the Deans, you're well, I hope and pray. Though you can't be here, in this way you're near, and I hold you dearly. My beloved St. Jude the Deans. Hi, boys and girls. Thanks for tuning in. And we want to thank Mr. Bill Armstrong, who puts in so much time video recording and sound recording these episodes for us. And then he edits them. So we owe Mr. Bill a great deal of thanks. Boys and girls, has your mom or your dad been cutting your hair these days? When I was a boy, my godfather would come over to our house maybe once a month and we'd go down into the basement and I'd sit on a stool under this single light and he would cut my hair so nice. Do you know, many years ago, Archbishop Cousins once cut some of my hair. It wasn't a whole haircut, but back on the Feast of St. Joseph, March 19th, 1971, my seminary classmates and I had what's called the Rite of Tonsure. Back at that time, it was a ceremony, our first formal commitment that we wanted to become a priest. And Archbishop Cousins cut my hair in four places, just a little bit in the form of a cross. Interesting, Mr. Bill, I think, is showing you that picture right now. So boys and girls, I've been thinking, how can I give myself a haircut? So I went online and I found this little gadget. And I thought today we'd try this. It's an experiment, boys and girls. So boys and girls, usually when I go out to get a haircut, they put a cape around my shoulders, but I don't have one of those. So I figured maybe I could put on a raincoat. I thought that that would probably do the job. Okay, so here's this raincoat and it's got buttons on it. Yeah, all right, yeah. Here's some other button. That should be enough, huh? Okay. So I think we're ready. So I have to take my glasses off because how can you get a haircut with your glasses on? But once I take my glasses off, I have a problem seeing. Here's this little gadget, and I press the button on. Here goes. This could be a disaster, but I figure, what do I have to lose? Because every day for me is a bad hair day. Well, I think, I think that's good. I think we got that side done. We do the next side now? All right. Now, boys and girls, we'll try the other side. Well, this seems to be working, boys and girls. So now I'll try doing the back of my head. I don't think I could do this for a living, boys and girls. I don't think this is my vocation to be a hairstylist. 
<laughs> How are we doing, Mr. Bill? Great. It's really thick in the back. Well, what you think, Mr. Bill? We're done. All right. <laughs> Boys and girls, thanks for helping me with all of this. And you know, now, after I say goodbye, I better sweep up this mess of hair. You know, that's something that's always good to do, to clean up your own messes. Right, boys and girls? I'm sure your moms and dads appreciate that when you do. And thanks for watching. I can put my glasses back on now. There's a mirror over there. Well, not so bad. Thanks for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And thanks for tuning in again. God bless you, boys and girls. I love you.